Hello everybody and welcome to Lime Green News on Enforcement. I would like to speak about the IP owner's right of information in accordance with Article 8 of the Enforcement Directive. What is the relationship between proceedings to obtain information from the infringer on the one side and on the other side separate proceedings for infringement to obtain cease and desist rights and other infringement related rights. The European Court of Justice had to respond to a request for preliminary ruling referred by the Czechs the Supreme Court. The Czech Supreme Court had to deal with a case that related to separate claims for information. The plaintiff had already beforehand successfully concluded the infringement proceedings to obtain a cease and desist order and other infringement rights. The Czech Supreme Court was not sure whether Article 8 of the Enforcement Directive prevented any separate decision on information claims only, simply because Article 8 of the Enforcement Directive provides that claims for information must be brought in the context of infringement proceedings. The European Court of Justice was very clear and very firm in its decision to say there is no need that claims for information and other infringement proceedings have to be brought at the same time. There is no problem in simply following up later with separate claims for information and the specific wording of Article 8 and in particular the reference to the fact that proceedings have to be brought in the context with one another is no obstacle for that. I would actually go one step further and say there is no need whatsoever to bring additional infringement claims if the plaintiff only wants to obtain information. And the reason is very simple. Claims for information are infringement claims and thereby infringement proceedings in its own right. Hence, there is no need for other infringement proceedings that would need to be brought at the same time, either previously or later. Thank you very much. That is it for now.